Okay, welcome back to Seven Days to Die, Alpha 18.4. Still suffering through sorcery withdrawals because we, it's still, they still haven't fixed that bug, but hey, we're here. Let's see here. This is day 83, so tomorrow is Horde Night, so we still have time to do some running around and stuff and see what we want to do here. Let's see. Do we have... Oh, we need to turn in some quests, don't we? But the trader's not open yet. But since we're going to go ahead and do that, we'll maybe we'll grab some stuff to sell while we're at it. Oh, uh, oh, we, oh, we do have one point to spend. One point to spend, huh? Hmm. Hard choices, hard choices. Thinking. Let's see here. Getting a little parkour would be nice. Lucky looter is okay. We don't really need it anymore. Boomstick would be good to have for fun because I do thoroughly enjoy shotguns, especially if you have the book where you you start one shotting blocks and stuff like that, and you end up making holes in walls, just shooting at zombies, and it's a lot of fun. But anyway, uh, let's see here. You know what? We're gonna just gonna keep that point for now, because, hmm, we could do plus 10% longer, but we're just gonna hold that point for now, because we might want to go over here somewhere, because we don't, we can't make a lot of electrical stuff right at the moment. Let's see here. <laughs> Mm, but we will grab some extra dukes, as well as, where is my, dang it, huh, I've already put it in the weapons box, okay. Wow, that was definitely a long one. Okay, did I already move it to the other weapons box? That's interesting. I'm losing my stuff. Uh, where was the other weapons box? Was it this one? No. There it is. And there's my magnet. It was over there. Okay, food. I thought I had some... Huh. I thought I had some, uh, of the awesome sauce left, too. Trader Joe's is now open. I do not have any awesome sauce. Interesting. No, I was wrong. There's my magnum. This must be a, an extra one that I will just go ahead and sell them. Seriously though, I thought I had some awesome sauce left. Whatever. Welcome to trade. Congratulations. Here's your reward, Tier five sucker. I don't think that's uh, better than what I had, but I'll look. Like you, can't you know what, maybe we'll just take a tier two, just because it's something different. Let's make a pact. We've been doing well, tier five luck. for a while. By the looks of it, you're gonna need it. Oh, 
Well, that was uneventful. There wasn't a lot at the other two traders, but let's take some more stuff out of this box here to sell to this trader. Oh, I'll do this. Oops, ah, well, I got a lot of money not to on me. That's okay. Actually, we can check to see if we uh, have any. How about I nope. empty your pockets? One of the quest rewards was a tier 5 auger. I do not actually remember what level the auger I am currently I currently have is. So we'll check it out before we see about getting rid of that auger. There was no good solar cells for sale. Yeah, not much of the only thing I found at the traders was some dog food here. Yeah. All that's that it. damn gawking at goods and that's all you buy? Something's missing, but I'm not sure what. Yeah, that's what I thought. My current on was two. Six, but it only has two less damage? Oh, wait, 11 less block damage. Yeah. We'll get rid of the five. I guess I could have used some cheesecake to further during that, but that's okay. Okay, so what do we got for quest wise? We do have a Tutor 01 right there. Yeah, maybe we'll go play with Tutor 01. Oh, hey Ranny, how you doing? Long time no see. <laughs> Night vision goggles can be cool. Wow, I cannot hit this guy. Hit him, thank you. Wow, that was bad. Yeah, the night vision goggles, hopefully they fix it soon, but there's, uh, uh, they do funky stuff when you, uh, try to look through a scope with them. It's a tier six battery. Ah, there you go. Yeah, even when I was when I do hip firing, I've never f actually felt the need to get the run and gun ability because even even like this M60 hip firing is not that inaccurate.
Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah, no, that could be useful. I can understand that could be useful. I just like watching, like, the magic trick you can do right here. Hey, look, no zombie, no zombie. Oh, he actually didn't spawn in there. They could have spawned in here. Okay, never mind. Ruin my fun. Just ruin my fun. Yep, that's true. And that was almost bad. <laughs> well, not bad, but annoying, because then I would have to go all the way back around and get back up here. Yeah, spider zombie, I hear you. Don't really care. And I actually didn't complete that. I already, ha already had that one completed. So what you've been up to, Granny? Besides, uh, finding spi finally finding some night vision goggles. <laughs> ah, you, you, you found- there's a couple different mods that do that. <laughs> Yeah, there's actually a mod for, uh, um, oh, what's it called? Yeah, it's like the, uh, there's actually a mod that's, uh, basically made to remove most of the adult-orientated stuff from the game. And, and it, like, changes so Trader Wreck doesn't cuss, and, and takes, uh, remodels the strippers so that they're not naked anymore. They're, I just... 
Oh, that always works too. I was just thinking, there's already... There's actually a mod for that that actually goes through and, and does all that for you. But hey, doing it yourself works too. <laughs> I still just want my sorcery back. They still haven't fixed that stupid bug that's preventing sorcery. Every time there's an update, we, we, we all hope the sorceries are going to come out. Nope. Yeah, well, the problem is you can only go so far with vanilla. It's like at my point in the game right now, I, all I'm doing is the same, like the same quests over and over again and stuff like that. It's, I mean, yeah, I enjoy the game, but I didn't even see her. Yeah, well, I see the permadeath uh, statement and gray and go right here. I mean, <laughs> even if I was playing permadeath, I'd still be playing this one. Although, I was thinking maybe, since I'm getting impatient with waiting for sorcery, I could always install, uh, one of the, the crazy mods, like, the one, oh yeah, I've, I, I've respect in this current playthrough, well, that's the, that's the thing, because I haven't died yet, when I want to try a different build, I just use a, uh, forgetting elixir, uh, I was actually thinking about maybe Ravenhurst or Darkness Falls, Trying one of those out. Yeah, uh, agility was actually my, my norm, my normal build was agility, stealth. Yeah, agility and stealth can be a lot of fun. You can, you can actually clear an entire POI with minimal ammo and taking no damage with a proper agility build. I bet. I mean, the night the night vision goggles. I mean, they they still have a couple keys to work out, but they are they are good. Pretty sure I have a pair saved in this game that I just haven't really used. Nothing OP about turrets. Nothing at all. <laughs> Turret 
turrets that can be... Turrets can make things a little too easy sometimes. <laughs> Oh yeah, so because so, there's going to be the junk bot, the junk what was a junk sledge? I don't remember what the what they called that one. Oh, junk driver was a junk driver? I don't remember what it was. Something like that. Oh, that I know all too well. <laughs> there's uh, there, there's <laughs> this funny. Uh, the number of craters and how big the hole in the, my multiplayer game got because of uh, turrets and uh, demolishers. <laughs> we, we were always joking on the multiplayer game. I swear, the turrets are aiming for their spots. <laughs> their turrets are aiming for their button. Greetings, stranger. You did it. Great job, traveler. Can you do me a favor? Great. I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks for shopping here. Come again. I keep those military boots. They might be better than than what I already have. Doubt it, but they could be. Right. At least, at least the uh, dead body, the dead zombies don't actually. I mean, can you imagine if they had a uh, actually had a collision and and the zombie and you could actually block a path by killing a bunch of zombies in it? Can you imagine how much of a mess that would be? Wow, three jumps to get up that ladder again. Hello, stranger. Much obliged, stranger. Oh yeah, I I heard you mention that before the uh you got hatches on the floor that are that you open so they're up blocking their path. I think I, I think I heard you mention that before. Uh it was you started doing that for your melee build, I believe. Right. 
Right. And that one just looks funny. Huh. Kinda. <laughs> Let's see here. I think I needed... to start pulling stuff out of these boxes over here so I can actually have it know what I need. On that same note, though, why don't you use a shape picker and you... Uh, to make it so it's not a square, all you gotta do is use a different uh, spot block in the same spot as you're already putting it. No matter no matter what shape you make a, a block, it has the same amount of hit points. The shape doesn't affect the hit points, which is kind of funky. But you, that does mean like you can use a uh, one of the one of these little poles and it has the same amount of hit points as a full block. Which, eh, it's a little odd, but... Switch to HP rounds. Interesting. Not sure how I got switched to HP rounds. Probably when I was trying to unlock that safe and I kept hitting the wrong or the lockbox kept hitting the wrong button. barbed wire, dang it. Twenty in that box right there. Eh, we're gonna set these over here to melt into the forge eventually. Now, surely there there's more zombies than just those bunch. I didn't hear him beating on anything or anything. That's why I like having uh, electric lights on. They tell you when zombies are up because the lights light up. <laughs> Motion sensors, I mean.
I have 14 left. I guess I got some. I guess I have some if something gets damaged. <laughs> Are you talking about the the this right this right here? This all beat to hell. <laughs> yeah. Cops spit going through bars. Those are number one things. And I think this one, this right, this one I'm playing right now, I think it only has two skyscrapers. Uh, 04, which you were talking about breaking your leg on the other day, and one Dishong Tower. That I know of. I mean, there could be more and I just don't know. <laughs> I haven't explored the whole thing. I can't pick up my punk, my jack-o'-lantern. Actually, I wonder. No, I actually already tried that. That's why there's not one right there. I can't hit it pick it up, too. I remember already trying. Wow. Nice. You got a lot of skyscrapers, huh? Yeah. I might, uh, I might try a nitrogen gem. I've used it before. On a, uh, um, for a, one of my multiplayer servers, and it's a cool tool, but when you're trying, it, it kind of feels like cheating, kind of, if you're, if you're trying to play a random, if you're trying to play vanilla to use it, I don't know, it's, it's me, it's just me, because, uh, its maps are much better than vanilla's. Okay, I'm going to take a quick little five-minute break, and I will be right back. Stick around. <laughs> 